Yo, yo, Giovanni here. We're going to the house of Mestre Curtis Pierre. He's a New Orleans drummer. He's like a genius. He really digs Brazilian music and he is a specialist on Brazilian drumming. So the, the stuff he does is basically related to Afro-Brazilian culture. And right now we're going to his house to check out this new percussion kit he put together that basically blends in four, five, sometimes six Brazilian percussion instruments all at once. It's like, it's a, it's a drum kit that he's playing by himself, you know, completely independently. And he's like, just killing it. So we're gonna see some of that right now. Right now. So hang on. Come to his house right now. Here we go. Baba Curtis! Is that you? Yeah, that's me, man. Hey, man. What's happening? Sup, 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 sup. Hey, how you doing? Doing good. What's going on with you, man? So, uh, gonna tell the world, you know, like, kind of show the world that this, this invention of yours, you know, you told me that, like, you can play six, sometimes seven uh -huh. percussion instruments from, like, a Brazilian samba ensemble yes. all at once. Yes, yes. How, how does that work? Six or seven, uh, a lot. <laughs> I guarantee three or four, I guarantee, but I, I'm not all at one time, but I can play six or seven at different times. But this kit is what I call the samba kit. You can play pagogi. I, uh, there's a lot of different rhythms you can play on this kit. Uh, you can do samba and I have other kits. There's, I have a beating bell kit and I also have a, it's called the samba kit with all of the bells and whistles. Dang. Everything you have like a third sordo, first, second. And I have another one, Basso Nevo kit, that I have with a cuica. Dang. I'm going to show you that a little bit later. This is first. Come over here and check this yeah. out. So how does that work? First of all, you have heckle heckle, you know, yes, tamborin, tan tan, okay, and pandero. And this, this particular thing here is my new uh, invention. It's uh, what I use to hold my pandero. Uh, I couldn't find anything uh, that was on the market that was strong enough to, you know, hold my pandero. So I made my own. So you invented it? Yeah, I invented it myself. Yeah. So um, then I use a double bass drum pedal on what we call the pancake surudo. You know, it's like it has a beautiful sound. And uh, I use two pedals because for me, the most important thing for playing samba is, is, the, is the beat that you feel and not the one that you hear. So, and that's the mute beat. So I'm gonna show you, for example. You so know, you have two, you have two. Yes. Two sticks like hitting yes. the, the sudo. Here. Basically, like well, that's that. Basically, you play uh, sudo with two hands. You hit one with the uh, stick and the other one with your hand in between. <laughs> so I'm using it like this. One, two, three, four. the other instruments in. Tamborin. Bandera. I'm telling y'all, bro, this dude yes. is out of control. <laughs> he is out uh, of control. Yes, so yes. So 
how how did you come up with this idea? Man, man during the artists? COVID, you know, you couldn't we couldn't get together as a group, you know. So in samba, it takes at least two or three people to make samba. So uh, I put together this kit. So I I've been working on this actually long before COVID, but it came in perfect for that. I could practice at least three instruments at the same time. That was the one of the things that I could could do, and uh, just see how 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 they sound together. And uh, like I said, I have more kits that I, that I plan to develop in the future. And uh, this is just the, the beginning. So, uh, hmm. yeah. And yeah. where can we find you on the internet? Are you uh, like on social media? Nah, Do you have like oh, a channel? I'm going own... to be honest with you. I'm going to be in my own new social media. You need to go to mrcurtispierre.com. Everything that you see on social media that I would put there is going to be put there now. Right on. So this thing is going to go online soon sure and man but that's it. it you know like look this dude up you know he he is what is up you know like he is what is up so i'm gonna put his website in the description you can follow his work it's worth it you know he's worth it take it is peace peace